Out for glory. Out for blood. Man Tracker. The Human Hunter. He's faced down the skilled, the savvy, the sporty, and the sassy. He's crushed the biggest, the brightest, and the bravest. He's brought the cocky to their knees and humbled even the least modest among his challengers. If you go head-to-head -head with this cowboy, chances are you're going to lose. But some have managed to escape him, whether they were strong, smart, or just plain lucky. So thank you so much. They became champions because they went up against the best and proved they could be better. Amy and Barb are next in line. They've got fitness, they've got smarts, and they're no strangers to the wild, wild west of the Alberta outdoors. The man tracker might underestimate a couple of small blonde chicks. I think one thing we've got going for us is we get along really well. We understand each other well. Uh, there's been a lot of bickering and complaining and, and people not getting along on the show, but I don't think that's going to be an issue for us. I think it drives him nuts to think of girls beating him, but we're really tough. We're used to intense situations, and I don't think that Man Tracker will be expecting that from us. Man Tracker looks pretty intimidating, but deep down, I think he's just a big old teddy bear. Meltdowns and cat fights just aren't their style. I'm the bigger sister! <laughs> Sisters, mothers, friends. Community women who rely on their faith and life experiences to keep their focus and fuel their fight. They may be small, but they pack a punch. With nine kids between them, they have been tried and tested on it all. Right there, you can multitask pretty well. I figure that we could be taking a pee while setting up a trap for Man Tracker, you know? Steep slopes, raging rivers, thick bush. No wimps allowed out here. Man Tracker's grateful to have Curtis Halleck back on his tracking team. The former fugitive turned local hero is a major asset when it comes to leading Man Tracker through the rugged Rocky Mountain foothills. He's bold, brave, with a grip on this area that rivals all. Oh yeah, this is my playground, this is my backyard. I know this place pretty good. He's done a few bad things in his time and uh, he's, he's learned his lesson and he's kind of turned his whole life around and now he's kind of working on the good side as I call it. The prey are heading into some dangerous territory. They get a map of the area, but anything else they carry is up to them. With 36 hours to reach a destination 36 kilometers away, this country is anything but easy. Man Tracker must rely on his skills and experience to hunt down his prey. He awaits the flare a few kilometers away, without a map or compass or the slightest clue where the prey are heading. There it is. Mountain men. You know where that is? Yep. Okay, let's go. Versus mountain women, the chase is on. The wilderness surrounding Grand Cache, Alberta is the battleground for this chase. With so much bush and steep terrain, Barb and Amy are trying to increase their head start by running the main trail. But after spotting the flare, Curtis knows exactly where to go to look for tracks. We can stay on this trail. Straight out. Oh yeah, we got tracks here. Oh yeah, there's one right there. Really good toe kick right there, and it's not a very big track. No, it's, it's pretty rocky right here. We might have to go up the trail a bit and see if we can find some better tracks. Go, buddy. Amy's fast, so I'm just trying to keep up with her, and I've been called the Energizer Bunny, but she gives new meaning to the word. My calves are burning. And then the stress building, knowing that you need to get some distance between you and Man Tracker, it was it was nerve wracking. Okay, where's the fork, Barb? I don't know, but you better slow down for a sec. A little bit over there, eh? The one track's got a little oval thing in the heel, surrounded by kind of pie-shaped pieces. This one's got those three or four curved lines at the back. They're both about the same size. Yeah, we got enough, we'll keep going. Okay, so go up here and we'll get those pillow boots on. Okay, there you go. Okay. Okay. Tracker, we got some bent leaves, we got some scuffed up dirt, we got some dead fireweed, 
It's a pushed over cow parsnip. Quite something that's been up there recently. Try to put the leaves back where they were. Oh, uh, yeah. Either human or bear, isn't it? Looks like they're continuing on. Maybe they double back on the mustard trail. I think probably that's what they've done. Which might be a little tough going in there. It's too bad, but we'll have to go. That's the road right there? This one was big stumpy fresh, hasn't even wilted, so we might have scared the bear away from this stump. Just recently we had a grizzly attack. It was a father and son. They were out uh, collecting antlers. They seen a cub climb a tree, but he pulled up his gun, and just as he got it up, he snapped his arm. And the father seen that, and he had his walking stick. Whacked him on the head, stuck his stick inside its mouth, and screamed at it. And then its cub came down and took off. So that's when the mother fled. They both walked out of there, though. The horsemen have been able to follow the prey's path into the bush, but things are starting to look dicey. This don't look like much fun, does it? You know, this is that muskeg I was talking about. Is there an option of going around? It's way around. It's way around. Well, I got a bad feeling about this one. I'm pretty sure these mountain horses will take us through it. Let's go. I hate getting wet first thing in the morning. My horse is quite a bit heavier. Oh boy. Curtis has proven himself time and time again, and he's pretty much fearless when it comes to putting his horse through stuff. He'll look at it and say, oh yeah, I can get through there, and away he goes. And you know, he come out smelling like a rose. He goes first. Well, good job, Curtis. That's why I got guides like you. The riders make it out of the muskeg without a wreck. But now it's time to refocus and get back to the business of tracking. I really wish we could find a trap here. Smudge anything. This is a perfect spot here. We've got kind of fine dust through this whole intersection. We've got some other horse trucks up here. That might be spooking them off the trail. Boy, oh boy. If that's a horse, its stride is freaking huge. So we got one track right here, and one track right here. If that's his front right, this is his hind right, and it's way off to one side and it's a foot short, that horse would have to be three feet long. If this is his right front, and that's his right hind, that horse is huge. So we found some horseshoes in my dad's tack room. This would be the perfect spot to put our horseshoes on. I cut some wood, found some Velcro in my mom's sewing room, nailed them in, and tried them on. It was another idea of we could maybe make some ground wearing the horse hooves and he wouldn't think it was us. Smart, smart. Good for them. I'm impressed. Well, we'll have to watch for when the horse tracks disappear now. We've got some thunder happening. I can't have blinders on when I'm doing this thing because if I look for human footprints, I'm going to be buggered. Well, let's see if we can make up some ground on these guys. It's beautiful. We come back here when we're not running from a man on a horse. Well, I can't see them going back down the mountain. They spent all morning going up. I don't think we should be up here. Okay. Let's see, go down. We've got enough tracks going up here. I'm going to keep going this way. Amy, what is that? It's a bear. Bear? Yeah. A bear, they're so unpredictable, so you just got to keep your distance and give them some room. We were going to go down there. The grizzly below forces a change in plans. Barb and Amy take a detour, adding distance to their escape route. As they head up the ridge, their vulnerability becomes obvious. He comes around there. He's going to see us. Do we have to keep going up or can we go around? Oh, we have to go up and over. She's straight to off all. Well, we'll take this little goat path now. I got a visual. They're 45 degrees to your left right now. But I can see them right there. Let's get something to eat. Mountain Tracker would not want to come in here with the rocks and, the, and those boulders. No way. There it is. Let's go. Curve lines at the back. Yeah, we got enough. We'll keep going. Smart buggers. I can see it right there. 
After a major ascent, Amy and Barb are in need of refueling. But as the oblivious ladies lunch, the trackers are watching, waiting for the prey's next move. <gasps> oh my gosh! Run, Barb. It's a bad spot for a catch. Yeah, we can't do nothing here. <laughs> yeah, there they go. Wildly. Yeah. How long were they there for? Oh my god. He's in there. He packs off and everything. Let's see two. Two guys in cowboy hats coming up. I didn't even know there was a there was a trail there. <gasps> I had no way of getting at him. I should have thrown rocks at him or something, but I didn't. Finally the one eating the apple looks up and goes, Oh, there he is. And they grab their pack and away they go. And at that point they ran into the bush and at least we knew which direction they were going. There ain't much of our trail, but better than none. This is the best route. It's like last of the Mohicans, except we're not naked men. Follow this trail. I got footprints on this trail. Right there. We should be fairly close to them right now. MT would not be in here. Perfect spot for them to be coming along. an elk. Barb, put this on your head. We're not afraid of adventure. We're not afraid of being out in the woods. We like smelling like a campfire. It's a good smell for us. I'd have that on my wall. But it's getting pretty, isn't it? This is a rugged terrain. The horses you got to use, they got to be sturdy, well built, good feet on them. My horses are born and raised here. They got a lot of wild blood in them, so I don't worry too much about them. Oh yeah, you're a bronc, aren't you? Oh yeah, you're a killer. I heard horses. I heard horses too. Thought I heard a snap. Down this way. Hello, oh, buddy. Let's keep going this way. Just quiet. Stay along this path. Following a pretty good trail right here. Grass is all knocked down, going in this direction. Only about two things do that. We're either gonna find two pretty little blonde ladies or one really ugly bear at the end of this. I don't know how many times they saw me, but I know by the tracks, they weren't slowing down. So they could have been watching their back trail and seeing us, and we weren't catching up to them, but we were pushing them. And I think that plays a big role in the, in the mind part of this game. Is that them? I can't tell. I saw movement. Let's go have a look. That's a horse. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot! Right here, right here in these trees. There they go.
there was a lot of snapping and crashing. We've got a decent trail right here. We're going to take down. They went straight. All right. This is great. We'll go take a look. Amy. or something. I got footprints on this trail. Oh, that's an elk. Oh, and I heard a snap. Amy. Barb is frozen on the side of a steep slope, terrified that the trackers are right above her. Atop the ridge, man tracker is searching, listening, knowing his prey are close. This is so intense. I couldn't handle the stress. I could hear the hoof prints up on the ridge. I was just hoping that the scout wasn't going to find another way for them to go around. I had just had it. I felt sick to my stomach. I was ready to throw up. Really scary. You're, you're trying not to breathe. You're breathing because you've been running. You're breathing like crazy. You swear he could hear your heart beating. You can hear him crashing and banging through there. Well, I don't know what that could do. I think at some point we're going to have a crossing. Grab this tree, Barb. Yeah. Man tracker patrols below the ridge. Convinced his prey will stick to the valley floor. But the sisters have other ideas. Let's just creep up and look up past that. Can you see a horse? Let's go. If they're still down in that creek, they're going really slow. They've come up behind us, they're on that road and they're a mile away. I don't know. We gotta do something here. I'm getting impatient. We know where they were an hour ago. What do you think, Curtis? We might as well jump on a trail and beat some of us sitting here. Holy cow. So where are we in? We gotta go west a little bit to get onto that trail again. Okay. Find a big tree, Curtis. Thunder and lightning, rain and hail. <laughs> just right. This stuff's starting to sting a little and the horses are getting pretty jumpy, so we're just gonna hide out in the bush here for a few minutes. You're in the bush, so you're half safe and you're on a side hill, so you're hoping that if lightning ain't gonna hit close to you, but you kind of start to forget your objective and go into a survival mode. But those girls are getting wet in this stuff. Wish I knew where they were. Can you believe this hill? It's like pea size. Even with the fluctuating extremes of mountain weather, the prey show their grit and fortitude. Well, if there were any tracks, they're gone now. Wow. Someone's doing something funny down here. They'll see us, they'll know that's not ours. Too big. Before the weather delay, Curtis had a strong feeling that the prey were headed for a main trail leading out of the valley. The trackers have finally made it to that spot and catch a break. We got a good track here. Good. But there's nothing up there. Well, that's what I was looking for, was that diagonal line. Oh, that's fresh right there. It's still dry. They're not very far in front of us. This, these can't be it. Amy, just... Yeah, look at this right here. 
all the way along here, we got good shine. Pee, you have to pee. Let's just keep going. I can hold it. Okay. If I pee my pants, it's your fault. I'd like to find a track with them standing in it. Look at the deer. Look at the deer. I got movement up there, Curtis. Yep. What's that in? Is that a horse? He's right there. Are you serious? What do we have here? People laying in the bush. They were right there. When it's dark and wet, there's a whole bunch of new hazards in the grass that you can't see, and you're asking for a bit of a wreck. Oh, 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 oh. a freaking jungle in here. Let's get that one out of here. They'll be there in the morning. The temperature dropped, it was dark. I'm shivering, and we're thinking, we need to make a fire or something to get dried off, because how are we going to get through the night? if we don't get dry. I was wondering to myself, how am I gonna do this tomorrow? We didn't wanna risk having them see a fire, but we had to dry our stuff off. So you, you feel a little deflated, like, okay, this was a crazy hard day, and that's what we have ahead tomorrow, but with wet gear. 2.15? Mm-hmm. 2.15 in the morning. I'm really tired. Everyone suffered from the deluge of day one, but Barb and Amy are determined to keep any advantage the night may have given. They're up at first light and ready to go. Had a pretty good sleep, as good as you could have when you're kind of thinking of waking up at dawn and running from somebody. But man, thinking about doing this all again today. Man Tracker has to return to where he last saw his prey and find new sign before he can be certain of their direction of travel. Day two of this chase is on. We'll check out these trails and probably come back down today. Okay, do you want to get some distance on yep. here? Let's stay on the side. Okay. Oh, we got lots of stuff here. Okay, we got some good tracks here. Yeah, look at this. You can see every track they made last night. All that fresh mud they've taken from one track to the next. There's that horizontal line of that little tattletale in their boot. We know they were last night because when I walk here, the mud doesn't pick up on my boot and transfer it. Every one of these steps here, there's mud from the last step being taken to the next one. It's perfect. Oh, my legs are jelly today already. I haven't even gone in five minutes. I feel sick to my stomach because I'm so nervous. If he sees our tracks, he can just bolt and catch up to us in like a minute. That's not good. If you're gonna do this, do it now. Where's your walkie? She may be in the trees right now. Let's go this way, quick. Got something walking through the woods here? Yeah, you're right. There's a lot of tramp down vegetation in here. Well, it's either a bear or a person. If I was a bear though, I'd be walking on the trail. Barb's a little trickster. Okay, pull. Okay, go, go. We're going that way. Just be careful not to leave the track. We don't want them to know where we've been, for sure. And that's a sure way of letting them know, guess what? We were here. We've got that intersection just up out here. How many trails have we got? We've got three. Wow. Well, why don't you go down there 100 yards, see what you see. I'll go down this one. 
We'll just eliminate these two. I didn't see anything, but I heard something down across the trail there. Let's go check it out. Let's just keep going directly south. Maybe southwest. Well, you're not going south that way. I'm talking on, I'm talking on here. Noise. Let's go this way, buddy. Do you think you see him? There. I think I see him over there. I think I see a bear right over there. It's coming full. Hello. Oh. Is there anybody out there? Okay, keep it off. I didn't think they'd answer, but they know exactly where we are right now. So he's reached that point that we gotta get moving, okay? Maybe shouldn't have called him, eh? Let's go. Chickens won't call back. I'll try this again later. Pulled off track. The obvious decoy has the trackers scratching their heads. We knew that they had been right there, so we looked around, and Curtis is no slouch when it comes to tracking. I don't see nothing in here, Curtis. I couldn't see no bent grass, and I couldn't see no exit. It's almost like they were wearing stilts. Somehow they got into that bush and back out away from that radio without both of us seeing where they went. Well, let's head down that other trail. We're kind of spinning our wheels here. Unable to find any tracks, Man Tracker blindly bets on a direction of travel and hopes his gamble will pay off. The prey have increased their lead, but still can't shake the feeling that Man Tracker could be on them in a heartbeat. Is that their horse? Hate to make some time. Really careful. Well, this should be kind of a track trap. I don't see a thing. Hard to say where those women went. I'm pretty much out of patience right now. Great. Okay, how are we gonna get down? There's something dark on the trail up there. You see it? It's not moving, so it's probably not the prey. Yeah, I think it's a dark spruce. Looks like we're skiing on dirt. This is a little crazy. I'm getting a little. It's here. This is like a creek. A man from a snowy river. You got any ideas? Sit and wait. Double back. Oh, jeez. You probably didn't expect us to come down here. It's a steep. Typical women. Never do what you expect them to. Right on. Oh. What do I do now? Tracker can't find his prey. He's been teased and taunted, but remains empty-handed. Barb and Amy have made a steep slide to what they think is safety at the river. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> awesome. What's up with these two trails here? I'm leaning towards this one. What do you think? I think so. They got a lot of options. They got the river up ahead. Sounds logical. How much water do we need? Just halfway. Pretty steep. Getting a little cranky here. I have no idea where these guys are. Hey, MT. Hope you're having fun. We sure are. Thing does work. What kind of fun would you be having? Lots of fun. How about you? I'm just uh, sunbathing. Sounds great. You in your swimsuit too? There's a lot of noise in the background there. You guys must be near the water, are you? They are down by that frickin' water. It's amazing how it works. I have no idea where these guys are. I don't know if they're even in the same province. I'm sitting there doing absolutely squat, and they call me on the radio. Hey, MT. Hope you're having fun. 
they were chirping away a little bit and you could hear a lot of background noise. I think she pretty much cooked her goose by calling me right beside the river. So we were a little spooked that he was waiting for us at the top and so we thought, well, we just gotta go across. Let's just go for it. This looks okay. The prey have no idea what they're going up against. This river is ice cold and moves like a freight train. If they get overwhelmed by its power, it could be the end of more than just the chase. Uh, where are you, ladies? Well, there they are. See them, Curtis? Yep. That little crick could kick their scrawny little butts. It's moving pretty quick. It's pretty dangerous. Well, they're doing it right. They got a stick, they're holding hands. That uh, water comes straight out of the glaciers. It's cold, it's powerful. This is pretty serious. Every second they're there, their legs get colder. Come on, girl, push, push. Yeah, the girl on the downstream side is fighting bad. She's getting dizzy. this doesn't change from a chase into a rescue. I did have my horse ready to do a rescue if I had to. I was ready. If I heard a whoop, I was on and gone. Keep going, keep going, come on. Oh, they're coming out. Good. Oh, my feet are frozen. Oh. I was just being amazed at what people do to get away from us. So there's a spot farther down we can get across here. Yeah, there's a half-decent game trail. They can sure tell people they didn't leave nothing at home. Oh. That was that was really scary for me. She was breaking the water for me, so it was good we had each other. I was feeling like I wasn't strong enough. We get about halfway across, and it got deeper, and we absolutely couldn't move. I even thought we should, maybe we should go back. But the fear of going back was that we had the same problem. It scared me to death. That yeah, was scary. Oh, we get running. It'll warm them up. Once they went across the creek, we knew they had to go up that huge steep bank. And we had quite a ride to get to the next crossing we could use and get back up there and try to meet them. I'll be fine once we get going. That was our next goal, was to get across the creek and get on the same side of the world as they were. I'll let you lead, you know where it is. Oh, oh, I have to fall. Oh, it's torture. Oh, you got my barb, you can do it. My legs are pooped. Oh. That's the worst of it. I think he's trying to anticipate where we'll come out because he hasn't seen us all day. And I know he knows that we're by the river because when I talked to him on Milwaukee, he could hear it. Yeah, it's a good little trail up that way. It takes us over to the largest meadow. They can be anywhere in here, couldn't they? Oh, oh the deer, the deer. Right That's a good sign. No one else has spooked it yet. There's a white tail back there flicking his tail. I just heard your voice. Come on, ladies, give us a peek. Okay. Let's keep going. Got something moving there.
I'm going over here and kind of cut into them. You go around behind them, Curtis. Okay. near the water, right? Come on, Bill. Push, push. Oh. You go around behind them, Curtis. Prey and Predator on the same playing field. Both sides scrambling. One for dominance, the other for survival. In the meadow, the trackers have an edge. But Amy and Barb are not even close to calling the game. Right now, we've got them split up. One went over into that thick. I think the other one's probably hiding right here. Let's take a walk, see if we can keep them apart. Let them know we mean freaking business. These girls, man, they could scamper. They just flat fly through the bush, and they're they're tiny little things, you know. They're both cuter in a spotted pup, but they just leave me in their dust. I wasn't sure if Amy was caught. We were planning to go to the river crossing. I thought we could do that, but I thought I better just go back and check. I couldn't hear any horse sounds, so I thought I'll just I'll just go see if I can see Amy. I think we'll just kind of wander up through here and kind of angle right. They're quite a ways back. They should be coming this general direction if they're going to continue with the direction they were going. Yard find us. Maybe there's something in there. There's something in there. He's right there. I haven't seen him move any farther, so I think they're hiding over there. The horse actually picked him out. I just looked at where the horse was looking. Let's go. We got him going to run. Over here, this way. Two minutes coming up, one to the left, one to the right. You go that way.
I'll go up and around. I'm gonna take your horse for a while. Oh. Oh. I can see the guide, and so I'm running because he's after me. I, I heard Man Tracker say something like, She's all yours. It felt like hockey. You know how you beat from side to side? I didn't know what I was gonna do. Oh. How are you gonna beat a horse? That's what I found. Pleasure to meet you. You too. Finally, not everybody likes to meet me. I wanted to make it. So I was disappointed and relieved, I would say. You do feel a little bit of relief that it's over. <sighs> if I had any more gas, I'd run. The madness was over. <sighs> so we don't have to run from you people anymore. It was something I will remember always, even though it was stressful and crazy. Hello. And the hardest thing I've ever gone through in my entire life I will look back and not regret it at all for having done it with my sister. We've been busy with kids in our lives for a few years and sharing this together just makes you even closer. I was impressed with the ladies, how they took to the bush and they weren't afraid of it. Seeing them down in the river is just, it was amazing. These girls, like, they're not afraid to get off the beaten path. They're, <laughs> they're outdoors, they're tough. A little better than the last one? Yeah. The country was tough and they did really well. I don't know how far they were from the finish line, but they couldn't have been that far from it. They had a full bag of tricks. Every time we get new prey, they're thinking more and more outside the box. And the box is getting pretty big on my end.